Saeed Ben Rama, people, remember the name. Hey, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well today, man. It's another beautiful day out here in the apocalypse. Super sunny and nice. Great time to be staying in and staying safe, I suppose. Anyway, Chelsea Football Club. Welcome back to Chelsea News. Now, I'm really only talking about one story in this Chelsea News video today. But really, it's a story within a story. <laughs> Wingers, man. Wingers, inside forwards, left forwards, right forwards, left mids, right mids. The, the flanks, the wide areas in Chelsea Football Club's team. Let's talk about it, man. Today I'm going to be talking about Saeed Van Rama from the Championship. But listen, listen, before you get put off by the Championship, man is posting incredible numbers, highly rated player. And I'm going to tell you why this is really the kind of player Chelsea should be, and probably are by the sound of things, looking at. So, you know, hold tight, I'm going to tell you Wagwan. Everything's going to be okay. Oh yeah, quick reminder, subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so, mate. Jump aboard the hype train, I'm driving, it's loads of fun. Make sure you do hit that bell notifications icon. I upload content every single day on Football Therapy, so you want to keep updated. And if you want to help me out, why not like? this video. All right, let's get into it. So, we all know Chelsea Football Club, Frank Lampard, the whole gang, Granovskaya, the whole posse, want a striker at Chelsea. That's not going to change. Although Chelsea have Batshuayi, Brogia, Giroud and Tammy on the books, you'd expect one to go, probably Michy Batshuayi, and you'd expect one to come in, but that's not what we're talking about today. But I'm letting you guys know that is something Chelsea are very interested in doing, and I'll, of course, keep you updated on updates regarding a striker as in when news comes but i do want to talk about a wide forward because this has been an interesting situation with chelsea football club of course chelsea have been seriously linked over the past year or so with Jaden sancho now really this is because the chelsea sold Eden Hazard. they need that star quality Jaden sancho is a chelsea fan he's mates with the chelsea squad all that kind of stuff you know right fine but the truth is in terms of positional Flaws? No, hold on. Problem positions, I guess, in the pitch, in the starting 11. It's not on the flanks. It's a left back and it's a striker and maybe a centre half. Chelsea have bought Hakim Ziyech. She's an excellent, excellent player. We all know about him. He's posted incredible numbers. You should know about him. He's in his prime. He is going to be starting on the right wing for Chelsea next season when he comes to Stamford Bridge. Sure, he can play in the cam, but he will start on that right flank, cutting in on his left boot that peach of a left boot and in terms of expected goals and expected assists no one was better this season than Christian Pulisic in terms of not being a striker because Tammy was obviously the centre forward Pulisic was literally just behind him um, he played a lot less minutes he struggled with injury but he looked absolutely deadly dribbling with the ball at his feet or indeed running in behind playing on the shoulder Pulisic when fit, should start on the left-hand side for Chelsea. They will literally be Chelsea's starting wingers, and very good ones at that. Callum hudson Adoy is a very, very talented young player. We all know he's got an incredible skill set. He will be a rotational winger at first, given the chance to play himself into the team as well. So where does that leave Chelsea? That leaves Chelsea looking for a rotational winger, someone of H hudson Adoy's level that can sort of get in the team, try and play the way in, or perhaps be more of a versatile player. We talked about Jesus Corona yesterday, how he would be that sort of flexible, versatile player that could come in and play on the flank, but also play elsewhere. Chelsea fans, understandably, wanted Jeremy Boga because he could have been that sort of rotational tier player and a very good one at that, but understandably, the player wants to start, so it's likely he will go to something, a team like Napoli in Syria. So where does that leave Chelsea? Well, Chelsea need to find a player that's very good, posts good numbers, but is happy playing a rotational role at Chelsea, certainly at first, but also is a goal threat. Saeed Ben Rama has entered the chat. I'm going to be honest, I knew nothing about this player. I asked my boy Eunice on Twitter about it. He gave me a bit of the lowdown. He is an Algerian bad boy playing for Brentford. 
But before I tell you his incredible numbers, granted in the championship, but incredible nonetheless, I want to tell you a little bit about the story. Simon Phillips writes, according to French publication La Gazette du Fenec, Fenec? Fenec? Chelsea are looking to sign Brentford winger Saeed Benrahma, who is rated at £35.5 million by his club. Yes, a championship club, but it's Brentford, they're doing really well, playing exciting football, he's got good numbers, he's a good age. There's still quite a lot, I know. But dude, championship players are costing more and more lately anyway, so just put a pin in that for a second. The publication claims that he has become a priority signing for Chelsea. Hmm. And that Brentford should accept a slightly lower fee than that quoted price. Okay, good. Ben Rama's yet to enter his prime. He's 24 years old, so probably just entering his prime now. He's made three appearances for his country, Algeria. Eunice informed me that he's playing behind Mares at the moment, so it's difficult to like get into that spot. You'd understand why. You know, but he's an international and he's young and he's good. How good is he? I mean, they want a lot of money for him, Jan. So what's he saying down at Brentford? Well, first, it's important to know that Brentford play exciting attacking football. Not too dissimilar to Chelsea Football Club. So that's a big tick off the bat. Stats, stats, stats. In the championship this season, he has 17 league goal contributions from attacking midfield. Mm. 10 goals and 7 assists. Very, very nice indeed from a winger. The 24-year-old takes 3.7 shots per game, so man loves scoring a goal. And dude, this is impressive. In a very positive team, he's got 7 Man of the Match awards in the league. 7! Dude is outshining everyone on the pitch. So it's time for him to take a step up, maybe, to Chelsea Football Club. Now, before you in the comments go, oh, yeah, and Chelsea need to be ambitious. They can't be looking at these players if they want to be the best again. Yes, they should be looking at these players. This is a player who knows how to score goals and assist goals in a very physical league that is the championship. And remember what we were talking about at the top of this video. We're looking for someone who's happy to just rotate in, you know, who's able to score and assist, but, you know, isn't going to cause a fuss and will play his way into the team if he can but sit on the bench happily. This dude plays for Brentford. He's gonna be happy to go to Chelsea, sit on the bench and get paid a lot more money than he's getting paid at Brentford. But if Chelsea do a good psychological analysis on him at his like mental profile and think this dude's good, he can get better, let's put him on the bench. Let's have him rotating in, filling in. Frank Lampard knows the championship very well. He might be looking at him and being like, yeah, I'll have a bit of that, mate. He could be perfect for my Chelsea team. Ziyech and Pulisic aren't going to be sweating that this championship player is going to immediately dethrone them before, you know, they've even had a chance to play this season. Everyone's going to be chill. Personally, I like the look of this player. Chelsea can spend, hopefully, £25 million on him, more money on the left back, and then they've got still some peas for a striker. This transfer window is going to be a madness, man. Very few teams are going to have money to spend. It's been reported by The Telegraph that only really Chelsea and Manchester United are the big two teams in the Premier League at the moment who can actually spend money this transfer window. Maybe City as well if they sell a couple of players like Sane and John Stones. But generally, it's a madness. Chelsea have been very good throughout the pandemic, paying all their players, using resources to do good in the community. Money is being spent and no money is being earned. So in a situation like this, you know, I just think it's the right kind of target. And if he's out here scoring goals and assisting and he's a good age, he just seems the right kind of player profile to come in and be that rotational winger. And if he plays well, who knows? Maybe he plays himself into the team. Do you know what I mean? Man United start Dan James, who they bought from the championship. He scored four goals or whatever quite quickly in the Prem, but he's been a dead thing ever since. No disrespect to him. Do you know what I mean? They paid a lot of money for Dan James. This guy scores more goals and assists more and he's a bit older and more mature. It's not just that, you can get gems from the championship, man. Look at James Madison at Leicester, playing at an incredibly high level, being incredibly highly rated. He was picked from the championship. Just don't judge on people buying players from lower divisions. N'Golo Kante and Riyad Mahrez, I think they both came from Ligue 2 in France. Ligue 2 is way lower than the championship, man. It's way lower. <laughs> All I'm saying is, keep an open mind. This player, could be a good move for Chelsea. It could be an affordable move. He knows how to score goals. He knows how to assist. If Frank Lampard likes the idea, if the reports are indeed true, it could be a really positive signing for Chelsea Football Club. Guys, keep an open mind. Anyway, I'm keen to get your thoughts and opinions on that side, Benrahma. 
Get down in the comment section below and express yourselves on this player. Do you understand or do you agree with my working and how I've explained it in this video? Let us know. If you've enjoyed the content, please do like the video. Why not subscribe to Football Therapy if you are indeed new to the channel? That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that hopefully is happening soon, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.